which is a threaded joint um, in which we'll discuss uh, power screw temporary uh, joint and permanent joint and design of threaded joint. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> if, we, if we are looking at uh, this slide, uh, which is dimensions and intolerances. Sir, yes, sir. We have uh, standards and codes. Um, if you, um, well, um, if, if we go to standards, what are standards in, in, uh, in mechanical engineering design? Well, rather, in engineering, there are uh, certain standards. And what is a standard? Um, a standard is basically um, uh, a set of specifications for parts, material, or processes. So, if you are uh, if if you have a part or material or process, and there is a set of specifications for that. So <clears throat> these are known as standards, um, and the, the 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 intent of these standards is to achieve uniformity, uh, efficiency, and a specified quality. Okay. Um, so, जैसे अभी हमने कहा कि these are a set of specifications. Um, कि what should be um, if we are talking about a part, what should be the dimensions of that part? Um, what should be uh, the different aspects of that part? Um, if we are talking about a material, there are standard materials uh, to which we refer with standard names. Um, and with those, uh, in those materials, there are different constituents. They are processed in a certain way. And similarly, it is true for processes that they have uh, some set of specifications which are standard, which are the same for all those processes if we name them standard. So, just abhi hamne ka ke uniformity, uh, efficiency, and specified quality. So, what does this mean? Is uniformity if we are talking about a standard part? So, that standard part will be uniform. Each of those parts will meet some um, some criteria but that will have the same dimensions and the same material, uh, the same features. So um, you can basically go ahead and uh, buy that part very readily. So because because these parts are all the same. Um, for example, there is a standard bearing, so you would just go to a hardware store and. Uh, or, or to a supplier and order a standard bearing uh, that will have the same dimension. So if you if you use a standard part, um, that part is available everywhere and uh, it is uniform throughout. So it is not custom that every part is different from each other. It is not different from each other. It is rather uh, the same part, and that would uh, you know ensure efficiency and some specified quality. For all these, if it is a part or a material or a process, okay. um, again, um, it limits the magnitude, the multitude of variation. So, uh, when you use parts, there are no variations in that. It just yes, it is. Uh, there is some variation, but that variation is just limited to the tolerance that you specify, or it is um, just um, you know. Um, limited to whatever um, uh, degree of variation you specify and which is acceptable. Okay. Um, if we look at codes, so codes are also um, a set of specifications. Rather, I would say it is a set of instructions how to carry out um, a certain um, a certain analysis, uh, certain uh, design, and uh, um, some manufacture. Uh, if you are if you are manufacturing something or fabrication, 
or the construction of something so these are basically a set of i would rather say that it is a set of instructions um that how would you um carry out analysis you humne phases of design mein discuss kiya tha ki how would you um you know carry an analysis design manufacture and construction of something for example um the code for this you know for the class to, let's say if you are talking about the class i'm just taking a very a simple example just to make you understand what is the code of class the code of class is that you don't talk in class when you are sitting in a class um you listen to to the, the instructor um you would um, if you have to ask a question you would raise your hand and so on so these are codes um for for or this is a code of conduct you know if you have heard there is a code of conduct so if you have to design something or analyze something or manufacture something or construct something you would follow those codes um and again it is to achieve a certain degree of safety for example uh, if you are talking about an elevator i would um, say that you have to you know use these these steps while designing an elevator you have to keep the factor of safety Uh, from 8 to 12 that is also um, you know uh, a code uh, and and so it what does it do again it is similar to this uh, that in in uh, code it will it will achieve a specified degree of safety efficiency and performance or quality um, for example um, you know the code uh, of of um, when you are driving you keep to the left in 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 our country right so these are a set of instructions how to do things okay if you have to enter into a construction zone you should have a hard hat if there are chemicals you should have uh, you know steel toe boots you should wear gloves and things like that so this is the these are codes and uh, you know again the standards and codes they are meant to give you a specific safety efficiency um, but uh, they do not imply absolute safety you have to build in safety into your design uh, when you are uh, performing uh, you know uh, your design or analysis ji mohammad umair do you want to say something Muhammad Umair your hand is up did you want to say something sir ji sir to awaaz thodi awaaz ghat rahi hai sir thoda sa agar tez bolne sir awaaz kam aa rahi hai mere khayal mein you have some problem with your uh, connection because uh, no sir do teen student ne message kiye mujhe सर मेरे तो बिल्कुल मुंह के सामने आप क्लियर आ रही है अच्छा इफ आई टर्न ऑफ द कैमरा हाउ इज इट नाउ इज इट गुड नाउ फिर कर में होगी नहीं सर उसी तरह तो माइक माइक तो मेरे बिल्कुल अभी सही आवाज है अभी सही आ रही है अभी सही आ रही है सर स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड कोड्स फॉर कॉमन एंड यू नो 
and or critical industries um for example um these organizations are uh, well we have just picked the the organizations that of or uh, are of your interest uh, which are um american you know, for example hum kehte hain ki american uh, aluminum jo um, uh, aluminum association hai which is aa uh, you have um, uh, american iron and steel institute uh, you have british standard institute there is ashray we have a local chapter of ashray you have asme which is american society of mechanical engineers uh, american welding society international standard organization um and society of automotive engineers which is sae so you would have seen dekhe uh, um, have you seen um मोबाइल जो होते हैं गाड़ी के इफ यू लुक एट दैट तो उस पर लिखा हुआ होता है एस ए विद सम नंबर फॉर एग्जांपल एस ए थर्टी ठीक है जी इसी तरह यू वुड हैव सीन दैट 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 इज अ स्टैंडर्ड ठीक है जी सो दैट हैज सम स्पेसिफिक विस्कोसिटी दैट हैज सम स्पेसिफिक यू नो प्रॉपर्टीज दैट कम्स विद दिस स्टैंडर्ड similarly uh, if you look at um, you know uh, as we have american welding society so aapne agar welding rods istemal kiye hain to that will have certain properties you know there are there is a specific number for that so there is a specific uh, standard uh, yield you know properties uski hongi ultimate properties hongi jab aap wo welding rod istemal karte hain and so on theek hai ji so these are standards and again um, they would bring these standards would bring interchangeability they would bring you know uniformity and safety uh, and efficiency into your design theek hai now um, <clears throat> if if we uh, go further so let's talk about economics um, agar hum economics ki baat kare so how do we bring down economics when you are um, Uh, when you are uh, trying to excuse me sir ji ji sir ye course jo hai na ye hame material ke bare mein batate hai ki kaun sa material hai ye bearing jo bana hai kis material se ji sirf material nahi batata balki uske specifications bhi batata hai for example hmm. agar hum bearing ki baat karte hain to bearing mein wo aapko internal dia bhi batayega ki iska ye diameter hai uh, uska ye outer diameter hai Um, और जो स्टैंडर्ड मटेरियल होता है उसके बारे में भी आपको बताएगा कि ये इस इस मटेरियल से बना हुआ है सो फॉर एग्जांपल हम मैं मैं आपको एक बहुत रॉ uh, एग्जांपल देता हूँ इवन uh, हमारे जो जो बेड्स हैं uh, वो उसकी क्या स्पेसिफिकेशंस होती हैं जो सिंगल बेड है जिस पे हम सोते हैं वो एक खास साइज का होता है ना ऐसा तो नहीं है कि आप कहीं जाते हैं तो यू नो इट इज Um, it can be big, it can be small, लेकिन स्टैंडर्ड साइज साइज यही है कि वो थ्री थ्री बाई सिक्स थ्री बाई फाइव एंड हाफ या थ्री बाई सिक्स फीट होगा या थ्री एंड हाफ बाई सिक्स एंड हाफ होगा एंड दैट्स द स्टैंडर्ड साइज सो इफ यू गो टू यू नो मोल्टी फॉर्म और जिससे भी जाए आप उसको कहें गिव मी अ फॉर्म फॉर माई सिंगल बेड so they will just ask you okay is it 3 and a half by uh, by 6 or or something you know uh, which is the standard size so waha se you know uh, if you have that standard size you just go ahead and uh, pick that up lekin agar agar aapne koi bahut hi customized size banaya hua hai so then you have to wait and they will you know um, they will make a custom uh, mattress or a custom foam for you ji Did I answer your question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, Nasirul Na Nadirullah. Did you want to say something? No, sir. No, sir. Go forward. Up to heart, niche. कर देता हूँ. ठीक है जी. Okay. अच्छा. So now let let's say अगर हम अगर हम बात करते हैं cost की. How do we bring our cost down uh, when we are dealing with um, when we are talking about design 
देखिए कॉस्ट के बारे में रिमेम्बर अ फ्यू थिंग्स जिसके जिसके जरिए आप अपने डिजाइन का जो कॉस्ट है वो आप यू कैन ब्रिंग इट डाउन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फर्स्ट थिंग इज आई वुड लिस्ट दैट ओवर हियर एंड एंड दैट इज um if i want to um uh, you know uh, bring my cost down so what would i do is um first of all i would use standard sizes theek hai ji um now why would i use standard size because uh, standard sizes jo hai they are made in bulk right so the more um parts that are produced in in huge quantities their cost is going to go down now if i use standard sizes in my design uh, there is another uh, advantage to that and that advantage is that i do not have to go through machining so um, it eliminates my machining theek hai ji um and and uh, it eliminates my labor over there so i will use standard sizes if if my design allows you if if it is not going to hurt the functionality of my design i'll go for for standard size theek hai ji now um i should also uh, go for um for using larger tolerances theek hai ji um larger tolerances would, would mean if if my design allow me i will use larger tolerances kyunki larger tolerances mein there is a benefit ek to ye hai ke uh, what is tolerance do, do you know what tolerance is dekhiye agar um, tolerance hai hamare paas for example i have a diameter of a shaft that is 2 uh, inches theek hai ji to with these 2 inches i would i say that it doesn't matter if my um, you know my design uh, of this yeah when i make this shaft when i make this diameter it is um it is uh, okay if my uh, if the shaft is plus minus um 0.001 inches theek hai ji what i mean is if it is 2.001 inches or 2.0 you know uh, 0009 inches it is still fine or if it is on the other side if it is 1.999 that is still fine so there is a range or there is a limit that i define that if it is you know um, if it is within this plus minus i will still keep this shaft theek hai ji i will not keep this shaft if it is 2.02 inches because that is very large probably my design does not uh, you know uh, function with that so or if it is 1.8 inches um, um, when i produce it it is not going to work for me therefore you know now the thing is if i use large tolerances uh there is accepted acceptability for a wide range of of these shaft plus if i use larger tolerances uh i don't do not have to do inspection all the time me agar agar main tolerances ko bahut tight rakhta hu so then i will look for the part everywhere that it goes everywhere that it is machined i look for the dimensions of this shaft that they are not exceeding a certain limit otherwise i will reject them so ek to rejection Uh, will be more theek hai ji if i keep to tighter tolerances if i keep tighter tolerances my um, my machines will be very accurate machines i'll have to buy very expensive machines my labor will be expensive i have to set up many um, uh, inspection points to inspect all the parts theek hai ji ke sare parts jo hai unko main inspect karu एंड एंड देखो कि वो एक खास लिमिट को तो क्रॉस नहीं कर रहे तो जितना मैं टॉलरेंस को टाइट रखूंगा उतना क्या होगा कि मेरे जो जो कॉस्ट है वो बढ़ती जाएगी देर 
if if i can work with larger tolerances um, in a design i would go for larger tolerances theek hai ji for example yahan pe agar hum dekhe to ye relationship hai aapke larger tolerances ka or tighter tolerances ka if i keep uh, the tolerances um, लार्ज फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे अगर आप देखें तो दिस दीज आर दिस इज द टॉलरेंस ठीक है टॉलरेंस ठीक है जी ये और यहाँ पे जो है दिस इज द कॉस्ट ठीक है जी तो वट हैपन्स देखें इफ आई कीप द टॉलरेंस अप टू अ सर्टन यू नो वैल्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल पॉइंट जीरो थ्री जीरो plus minus and i keep on decreasing yeah keeping the, the tolerance is more tighter for example yahan pe 0.01 ban gaya hai uh, over here it is uh, 0.001 dekhiye isse main aage badhta hu na so what happens my uh, cost goes really really up and um, and that is uh, kind of scary ke itna steep ban jata hai in percent देखिए विद विद द स्मॉलर टॉलरेंसेस या विद विद टॉलरेंसेस दैट आर ऑन द ऑन द लूज साइड दिस इज द कर्व दैट आई हैव लेकिन अगर मैं टॉलरेंसेस को बहुत टाइट करता हूं तो देन माय कर्व गोस अप लाइक दिस व्हिच इज वेरी मच यू नो इट गोस अप टू यहां पे कितना है 400 परसेंट तक um and again as i said you have to have many uh, inspection points you have to have you know um many uh, there will be many parts that will be rejected and uh, your your uh, machines will be of very precise um and they should they should be very accurate uh isi tarah aapke jo production hai wo bhi low hogi ठीक है जी बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ दाइटर टॉलरेंसेज तो दिस इज वन वे दैट वी कैन कीप और कॉस्ट लो ठीक है जी ना इफ आई गो फर्दर देर इज अनदर मैथड जैसे इफ वी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी के विच मैथड इज द बेस्ट मैथड देखिए इन डिजाइन यू माइट हैव डिफरेंट डिजाइन you might have um, uh, two or three designs and you want to choose which design to go with theek hai ji uh and for that you can do an analysis of your of your cost for example uh ek analysis hum karte hain jisko hum break even point kehte hain theek hai ji so what does this break even point do is let's say for example we have to uh, there are two possible ways to manufacture something let's take the example of screws theek hai ji so let's say we have to uh, manufacture screws here we have to fabricate screws and there are two ways um, that we can uh, use one is an automatic screw machine uh, that we can use and then we can use a manual process which is a hand screw machine so is hand screw machine mein hum kya karenge और ऑटोमेटिक में हम क्या करेंगे कि फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी व्हाट आर द कॉस्ट्स दैट आर एसोसिएटेड विद दैट फॉर एग्जांपल ऑटोमेटिक मशीन में हम जब स्क्रूज बनाते हैं तो इट मेक्स 25 पार्ट्स पर आवर एंड देन देयर इज अ सेटअप टाइम व्हिच इज 3 आवर सेटअप टाइम सो इन दीस 3 आवर्स द मशीन डजंट डू एनीथिंग यू हैव टू सेट इट अप यू हैव टू मेक द मशीन रेडी ठीक है जी लेट से ट्वेंटी रुपीज पर आवर आप कर दें या डॉलर पर आवर कर दें तो दैट इज द लेबर कॉस्ट ठीक है जी ना अगर हम uh, इस चीज को यहां पे uh, यहां पे अगर हम इस चीज को प्रोड्यूस करें तो देखें सबसे पहले वी हैव कॉस्ट ठीक है जी ऑन दिस साइड अगर आप देखें तो ये हमारा कॉस्ट है और इस साइड पे वी हैव प्रोडक्शन ठीक है जी तो एज वी सेड सबसे पहले हम uh, ये ऑटोमेटिक प्रोसेस uh, को लेते हैं ठीक है जी तो ऑटोमेटिक प्रोसेस में क्या है कि 
we make 25 parts per hour. Lekin first three hours mein kuch bhi nahi banta. Chik hai? To lekin labor cost to hoga aapke first three hours mein. To aapki cost kya aegi? Zero production hogi. 20, 40 and 60. So, when we are using automate 